is Average Joe PT, and it's been a while since I've been out there. A lot's gone on in Scully's in my life over the last year or so in this pandemic. And so I'm bringing the studio down just a tad bit to see exactly if you guys actually like the content or the crazy, wacky stuff that was going on between Scully and myself. So I think today we're going to talk a little bit about the foot and see if you all have any questions about that. So stay tuned. Let's get a sip of coffee here for a second. Because I can't do my work without my coffee. And so uh, when we look at this foot, it's very complicated. There's actually a whole field of study that just focuses specifically on the ankle and foot. And that would be podiatry. Basically, they call them a foot doctor. So they work specifically just on the foot and ankle. Now, a lot of times when you go and you have a foot problem, and if it's something really basic, like maybe it's the bottom of your foot, I'm going to zoom up real close on yourself. Just forgive me just for a second. <laughs> Scully's all lit up today. And so this bottom piece, um, if it goes pain goes from your heel all the way to the mid part of your foot a lot of times that's probably just plantar fasciitis and what the heck is plantar fasciitis it's a plantar fasciitis it's an issue that helps give the structure of the bottom of your foot and it goes attaches from your heel like i showed you all the way to the top of the foot now that piece gets really inflamed See, let's see if I can get this back on this mouth. Ah, there we go. And that tissue gets really inflamed. A lot of times what happens is when you go to sleep, that tissue starts to kind of shrink, and then it gets tight and tries to heal itself. And then when you wake up in the morning and you take that first step, you stretch on that foot, and you get a lot of pain on the bottom of the foot because you, call, you get these things called micro tears. And what are micro tears? Within the small little tissue pieces you end up literally getting these tears that causes inflammation and causes pain and then it continues that cycle and then you walk on it for a few minutes and it starts to ease up now does it completely go away a lot of times no when that first happens but it does ease up the pain when you when it first starts now what happens over time if you don't treat that exactly like you're supposed to you can get what's called a calcium deposit on the bottom of your foot or also known as a heel spur. So people always think the heel spur is ca what caused the actual tissue issue and it's actually the reverse. It was a, who knows, multiple episodes of the bottom of the foot getting inflamed and then the body reacting by building up this stuff called calcium or in, at one point becoming a, a bone thickness area and that then starts to tear in the tissue so then you have inflammation of the tissue as well as this bone spur or bone inflammation area calcium deposit so that's a lot what can cause this particular problem now if you guys want to know how you want to treat that I got plenty of videos back in the past archives with Scully and myself under ankle and foot that you can look at but the basics are you want to ice it to reduce the inflammation if you don't have any issues with medication, you might want to try some Advil slash ibuprofen to reduce the inflammation. You might want to do what we call an ice bottle roll. We take a little um, soda bottle with a screw top. You fill it half up with water, put it in the freezer, and let it turn into a nice block of ice, and you can roll your foot on that. That will help your pain. Before you even get out of the bed in the morning, you want to massage and stretch that foot and get some blood flow in the area so you don't cause those micro tears to start in the first place. So, that. Scully and I would just like to say thank you for being part of our family, and we'll see you next time. Is it that right, Scully? This guy is crazy. I hope you guys continue to watch this stuff. You say so. All right. See you next time.